Okay, so I did this video yesterday on the new EEPROM update, which is a beta update. Uh, and I had an interesting comment, and it was from Jose, uh, who's the creator of PyKiss. And uh, you can actually update the EEPROM from PyKiss. So let's have a look at that, because I didn't know that was available. There's so much in PyKiss. I've got other videos on how to uh, install PyKiss. Uh, it's very, very straightforward. And once you've got it, now I had a look, might have been in others. Yeah, update your Raspberry Pi bootloader. I think I probably did see this before, but kind of went past it. So it detects that my current boot is uh, 28th of October. So this is the one I did in yesterday's video. Uh, so the very, very latest beta version. So what does it say here? Master firmware releases. So do you want to update your bootloader file? So I'm going to say yes and see what happens. So it's downloading something. I don't know if this is quite doing what it's supposed to be doing because it keeps mentioning Chromium browser. Uh, so it's definitely doing the right thing now. So remember your current bootloader date time is October 28th. Choose in the next dialog the latest bootloader file. Use the tab to move between window sections and space to select the file. So it doesn't have the 28th in there. So it's an updater, but it doesn't. Uh, oh, but if, is it because it says stable on there? I wonder if I can change that to beta. Oh yeah, there's beta on the left, look. How do I go there? I actually know how to get up to there. Well, let's try typing beta in here. Oh, there you go. Uh, 28th. Yeah, so, uh, well, I'll tell you what, let's, let's try and go backwards then. So I'm on the 28th, uh, and this is in the beta ones. Uh, that's interesting. So stable. Yeah, so 9th to the 3rd was the one I was on before. So let's try and backdate this uh, and see what happens. Press and uh, Oh, is not a valid file aborting. So I wonder if it knows that it's going backwards. I don't know what these uh, VL805s are at the bottom there. Uh, let's try... Oh, enter to go back to the menu. So let's boot it up on a Pi with an older menu and see what happens on that. And I'm going to have a look to see if I can find my original Gen 1.1, I think it is, Pi 4. In fact, let's have a look on here. Let's open a browser. Because I had a question about uh, whether it was okay to do it to the original uh, Pi 4. And they mentioned about it having the problem with the USB. It was only a problem with certain power supplies. It didn't really affect any operation of the Pi. Uh, it was more if you had an advanced power supply, it wouldn't work. So let's do Lee SP video Pi 4, and I'm going to put in verses, and I'm going to put in 1.2. I think that will probably find the video. Yeah, there we go. So I'm looking for, so the original, I'm just having a look at my Pi. Yeah, so I've got my 4 gig Pi, so I'm going to reboot with my original Pi 4 4 gig, and I'm going to update the, update the bootloader with that and see what happens. So let's shut down. Okay, so this is my 4 gig Pi, uh, so let's run NeoFetch just to show that. There you go, does this show me the uh, EEPROM update? No, it doesn't show you in NeoFetch, I thought it might have done. Uh, so I need to run PyKiss again. And under others, update your RPI bootloader. So current version, September the 3rd, 2020. So that was the, uh, the last stable release version. So do want to update, yes. So I'm guessing it shouldn't need to do all the Chromium stuff because that was updated already because that's within the operating system, not the EEPROM. Uh, there you go, remember your current bootloader time, uh, date time is September 3rd, 2020. Choose in the next dialog, right, use tab, right, okay. So, uh, again, it's only coming up with that. Can I get up to, yeah, I don't know how to get into that beta without doing beta on there. Uh, and then that's the version. So that's the very latest version. Hit OK. Press Enter to go back. Oh, what was that? That was invalid file, wasn't it? Do you want to update your bootload? Let's try that again. I thought it had done it, so I just sort of flicked past it. Right, so maybe it only does the stable version. So how can I get back?
28. Yeah, not a valid file. I wonder if it only does do the stable version, so the, the proper latest version, which I've already got on here. Uh, yeah, so let's quit out of that. So I'm not sure when that doesn't work, so I'm going to go back into my EEPROM video, and uh, I'm going to update this anyway on my older Pi. I've got other Pies which um, I can test in future videos. So uh, I've done all of that, reboot. So let's do this bit. Change. Oh, it's already on beta, of course it is. And then let's copy this bit. Pop that in. EEPROM detected. Please re reboot to apply the update. Reboot. Okay, so first time it didn't work. Uh, I had to switch it off and switch it on again, but it has booted up now. Uh, so let's, oh, and I've got no, I've got no mouse and keyboard. And I've got no temperature let. Yeah, this is all a bit weird. My mouse has appeared now, but it's still not working. Unplug and plug in. Yeah, still not working. Oh, this is weird. This is not a bad thing because I always wanted to try the Raspberry Pi Imager EEPROM uh, saver. It's the, the thing that if your EEPROM isn't working, it's supposed to somehow fix it. So maybe that's where that's the direction this video is going in, but definitely I can't control anything. I'm hoping this screen captures all right. So I'm going to unplug and plug in once again. Yep, doesn't work. Uh, it's been like this for 20 or 30 seconds. So uh, let's switch off again. Okay, so it looks the same, but this is uh, actually running Twister OS now from an SSD drive. So weirdly, it just doesn't boot that uh, Raspberry Pi OS operating system, which it did before. Uh, so, well, that's a tricky one because uh, I'm not too worried about that, but uh, it's obviously made something less compatible. Twister does that where it uh, flicks to black screen at the start if you don't press anything. So uh, let's have a look at Raspberry Pi Imager and see that EEPROM because I've never used this because I because it's weird because if you if you haven't got an issue then why would you use it? So EEPROM recovery. Use this only if advised to do so. Well I haven't been advised to do so. I just need to find an SD card that I'm happy to write over. Probably is tiny isn't it? Yeah point it's a 0, 0.0 gigabyte download, so let's just use, I think I've got a one gig card here that I don't use for anything. Four gig card. Just double check that I haven't got anything on it. Oh, it says it's got Berry Boot on it, but that's fine. I'll, I'll do a, an updated version of Berry Boot at some point. So I put my SD card in, uh, but I suppose I could, if I was running the operating system from an SD card, I could use a USB stick to do this but I'm going to do it with an SD card. So Raspberry Pi 4 EEPROM boot recovery, choose SD. Uh, that's the four gig card that I've just popped in and let's hit write. All existing data on SD card will be erased, yes. So this should take no time at all to write. Yeah, so that's done. So let's shut it down and boot up with that SD card in there and uh, unplug the SSD. So let's unplug the SSD. So I'm just running it off the SD card that I've just written to. Bit of a mess here at the moment uh, because I'm doing several things at once. Right, so let's restart that and I'll start the screen capture as soon as I can. Green. And the light's consistently flashing like it's not doing anything. I, I wouldn't think it would take very long to reflash the EEPROM. Don't know, you'd like to think there was some sort of information on screen. I'll give it another minute and then I'll pull the plug if that hasn't done it. Doesn't look all together like anything's working, does it? It's all flashing now. Weird, same thing's happening again. And I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna have to try this uh, uh, tomorrow or later on today. Yeah, that's not working. Okay, so the SD card is definitely working because uh, this is uh, noobs on an eight gig Toshiba SD card that I've got. So that's weird. Have I not got any OS on this? I don't think I've got any OS on this, no. So let's try booting with something else. Well, that's weird because this is another version of Raspberry Pi OS from another uh, from a Cambio 32 gig card that I've got, and that's booted up fine as well. So I'm just going to try uh, that Raspberry Pi OS system that I was using that wouldn't boot before. Yeah, definitely doesn't boot. The light just stays on. Very weird. Okay, so back in Twister, let's have a look at PyKiss and uh, have a look. Enter to exit. 
Right, so let's go back into that tools and Pi Bootloader and yeah, look. Install bootloader EEPROM for Raspberry Pi. Your current boot date time. So it isn't it isn't on the later update. That's so weird. So it might be worth waiting if you've got one of the older Pi 4s uh, because that is that is a bit weird, isn't it? So this is what happens if you boot up without a card. So it hasn't updated uh, to the latest version. Something's obviously gone wrong with that. So maybe I'll try that again and see how I get on. Or that EEPROM recovery has worked and has put it back to the older version. That doesn't explain why it wouldn't boot Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit. It's not an issue um, because obviously some operating systems are working on it and uh, I can play around with that more. Anyway, bit of an experiment. Hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.